Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And for this reading, I'm going to be using the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. And before I get into the reading, I just want to let you know about a free webinar that I have that's going to be coming up on February 11th. It's a Thursday evening. And I'm doing this free webinar with, some of you may know Bridget from BiddyTarot.com. And Bridget and I are pairing up to deliver you an awesome free webinar and that webinar is going to be on um, how to read tarot for yourself in just five minutes and we're going to be giving you some awesome tips and ideas and pointers for how to how to read tarot for yourself in five minutes so if you're interested in joining us for that webinar you need to register and i'm going to put the link to register in the um, little description of this video. So if you just look below, there's going to be a link that will take you to the registration page. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with the first card, which is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, so here we have, and I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, Sulis, Suli, Sulis, Bodies of Water. And this card says, spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean, to recharge your batteries. Okay, so my first kind of impression of this card is um, that at the beginning of the week, you might actually experience some stress. Um, not major stress, but just, you know, the regular kind of life stress that, <laughs> you know, everyone experiences. Or you might feel like you're, you know, you have a lot of responsibility or you're overwhelmed or, or whatever it is. You just maybe feel like there's not enough time in the day to get everything done. And um, spending time either in water, like in the bath, or even like going swimming, or just near a body of water is going to help you almost like change the I want to say like the rhythm of your body or your pulse or something um, so if you're if your state of mind is kind of like like you know like really fast um, you know spending time near water is gonna kind of slow it down and kind of slow down that pace of thought and your heart rate, everything is gonna slow down when you spend time near water. And there's actually, I think, a scientific reason for that. And it's something to do with negative ions in the, in the atmosphere whenever you're, especially if you're by like a waterfall or something like that where there's running water, there's more negative ions in, in the atmosphere and that can, can bring about a really relaxing and healing effect. So. At the beginning of the week, especially if you're feeling kind of stressed and disconnected with yourself or with nature, see if you can spend time in water. And if you're not near an ocean or a lake or a river or anything like that, um, you know, have a bath or see if you can go swimming or even um, like spending time near a fountain or those, you know, those little plug-in fountains you can get. Something like that would have a really similar effect. Okay, um, moving on to the middle of the week, so Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so we have Peely, Divine Passion, and this card says, Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So this card actually is somewhat of a demanding card, and it's demanding that you um, really, you know, be honest with yourself and look at your life with... Um, kind of a razor sharp gaze and be honest whether you know your life is really lighting you up you know are you doing what you feel passionate about doing like do you really believe in what it is you're doing whether that's your job or hobbies or whatever however it is that you spend your time and what what is it that you are investing energy in you know how are you how are you dedicating your life and are you dedicating it to a job that you don't really care about that doesn't really light you up you know are you just kind of going through the motions you know what's what's going on there um and i feel like this card has kind of um it's shown up this week because i feel like it's asking you to 
demand more out of life or demand more out of yourself, I guess that's more accurate way to, of putting it. Uh, it's no longer okay for you to just, and I think I might've said this in last week's reading actually, or her recent reading, but it's no longer okay for you to just sort of sleepwalk through life and go through the motions and, um, you know, and invest your time and energy in things that really you don't actually care about. That's no longer an acceptable way for you to live anymore. And that can be um, kind of scary because if, you know, if that's a way of life that you've been living for a long time and if you look around you and see that everyone else you know is kind of living that same sort of life or, you know, you have a job that you hate or, or whatever it is, um, this can be kind of a challenge. So the challenge this week really is to get in touch with yourself and find that spark, that fire, and figure out, you know, what is it that I'm really passionate and fiery about? And if you already know what it is, um, you know, ask yourself, am I living that passion? Am I, am I doing something about this? Am I, you know, putting my energy, uh, and time towards this thing that I'm passionate about? Or is it just on the back burner and I just sort of, think about it every now and then. So just being really kind of honest with yourself. And then as you get to the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, oh lovely, we have Artemis, guardian. And this card says, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. This card I find will come up in a reading when, when you're feeling either vulnerable or scared for some reason. And this isn't really about being scared about your actual physical safety, um, but just going back to the center card, there's something really scary about being honest with yourself and there's something scary about making the decision to devote your life to something that you're passionate about and something that's really important to you. Um, and sometimes we don't feel safe in doing that because we feel like there's a lot of risks involved. Um, and, you know, sometimes following our life's passion isn't necessarily going to be immediately financially rewarding. There might be a lot of, uh, unknowns and, you know, a, a lot of risks that you need to take. You might need to have a lot of trust and a lot of faith in yourself and all of that can make you feel really vulnerable and it can be really scary and it can feel like you're being forced outside of your comfort zone. And so this card of Artemis, I feel like she's shown up to let you know that you're safe, even if you feel like you aren't safe. So even if you feel like, you know, even if you're feeling vulnerable or you're feeling like you're too out, too far outside your comfort zone, Artemis is there to kind of remind you that, you know, you're you're spiritually protected, you're being, you're being guided and it's okay. Just, you know, take a deep breath. And I also feel like this weekend is a good time to create safety for ourselves and, and create a feeling of well-being and safety because especially with, you know, the beginning of the week, I said there might be some, you know, typical kind of stress and, you know, spend time near water and then, you know, get in touch with what you're passionate about. All of that takes an immense amount of work and sometimes, you know, you are forced outside your comfort zone. So when the weekend comes, it's important to really kind of nourish yourself and do things, do activities that make you feel safe and, and protected, whatever that is for you. So like comfort things, you know, um, and I'm thinking of the things that I like to do that make me feel safe. <laughs> like snuggling up on the, the couch and reading a good book. Um, you know, there's certain meals and foods that are just like comfort foods. And I feel like that's what this weekend um, is going to be about is, is, you know, creating comfort for yourself. Um, and that can make it a whole lot less scary. Um, you know, as you, as you step outside your comfort zone and as you ask yourself some of those tough questions, it's helpful to know that you're there for you and you have that ability to provide comfort for yourself. Okay, so this has been your weekly oracle card reading, and thank you so much for joining me and taking the time to watch this reading. I hope you found a little nugget of wisdom there or something that you can can um, find helpful. And you can find out more about me and learning about tarot cards on my website, dailytarotgirl.com.